Y'all, I have found a beautiful 1958 Cadillac here. You're the owner, sir? Yes, sir. What is your name? Lee Pryor. Lee, good to meet you. Tell us about this. That is a 1958 Cadillac. It's got a LS1 in it, 4L60 transmission, uh, air ride suspension, disc brakes, uh -huh. air conditioning. Let's take a peek at that engine. Got wild wood brakes on it, looks like. Yeah, hydro boost brakes. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. How long has it been on the road? Oh, about two years. Two years. Five-tech fuel injection. Five-tech fuel injection. Very nice cruiser. Thank you for telling us about it, sir. Hey. Pretty stock looking Camaro here, but I want y'all to look at the hides under this thing. Makes me wonder what's under the hood. Let's go take a peek. An LS7 for power y'all, 650 horsepower. I love the way they kept it stock looking almost. Got the original style valve covers and the twin snorkel air cleaner. Talk about a sleeper. Nice 34 Ford. Looks like it's wearing its original patina on it. Just a super unmolested example of an early Ford truck, y'all. Nice Merc sled here. A little bit unusual in that it's a four door, but it's had all the custom touches done to it that uh, you'd see on any two door Merc. Got the fender skirts on the back. Got the lake style pipes on it, flipper hubcaps. 50s style scallops on it. Check out that peaked headlight. Tons of Volkswagen stuff here today. I really like this one. Love the roofs on these. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I'm on all these. <laughs> 81 or 80? <laughs> See you, man. A couple more really nice Volkswagens. This is one of those cars that I've seen at a lot of shows, but every time I see it, I just have to come look at it. I just love this little car. Neat luggage rack on the back. Got some Volkswagen accessory blinds in the back window there. Another nice little Volkswagen right here. A little more. It looks like the Ford F100 Mafia has invaded Chattanooga right here. Several late 60s F100s here. I like the fact that she's going These guys all rolled in together this morning and parked together. Some really nice trucks. And 
and someone snuck a car in on the end over here. But we'll give him a pass. Hello. Hello. You don't see a Volkswagen thing at every show you go to, but I've seen not one, but two of them here today at the Chattanooga Cruise Inn. These were only imported into the United States for two years. Nice little Sunbeam Tiger right here. These were imported into the United States from Europe and stuffed with small block Ford V8s. Very fast little cars in their day and kind of the predecessor for the Shelby Cobra. Killer little 30 or 31 Model A two-door sedan right here. Got kind of a 60s drag racing theme to it. Blue with some ghost flames. Got the moon tank up here in the front. Filled roof. Filled gas tank. Next to it is a really nice little four-door Impala. Man, this thing is sitting just right. There's a lot of unique and unusual cars here today, but I think I have found the most unusual car here. That is this 1939 American Bantam. Interesting little tidbit about this car. When Disney designed the car for Donald Duck there, they used this car as inspiration. Trucks and trucks and more trucks here today. It would not be a Hot Rod Dad video without featuring at least one C10. I love this truck, but the thing I like the best about it is this accessory cup holder. Got a couple of vintage Coke bottles in there. Really nice driver here, looks like. Here's a beautifully restored Model A Cabriolet. a bad little 30 or 31 Model A with a 32 Ford grill shell. Hemi powered. This thing is all business. Great looking little 32 Ford pickup right here. Small block Ford powered. Three deuces on it. Listen to the question. Generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity, Doc Brown and Marty McFly went back to the DeLorean. I need the year, the make, and the model of the car. 84 DeLorean. No. No. If you've won once, you can't win again. Sorry. No. What was the year of the car? 84. Come here. It was a night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this, this young lady won. It was a 1981 DeLorean. Big round of applause. You got it. She got it. Here is one clean 46 Chevy pickup. Beautiful 58 Chevy convertible. Love this interior. Man, I have found a fine trio of Chevy cars here. This is a 61, I believe, Impala, ragtop. 
Is this your car, sir? Yes, sir. What year is it? 1961 Impala. 61 Impala. Tell me a little bit about this thing. Well, I tell you what, I uh, in here, I got it from a lady who uh, owned it originally, and uh -huh. um, I haven't done much to it. Just uh, little knickknacks here and there, but just kept it all original. So it's got the original drivetrain in it and everything. Yes, sir. It has a 283 with four barrel factory. Um, and she runs like a champ. I love the fender skirts and the dual antennas yes, on these, y'all. Yeah, I did add the uh, second antenna to keep that Impala look. Yeah, yeah. Got to have that second yes, one. Sir. Can we take a peek under the hood? Absolutely. Oh, it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to be detailed a little bit. <laughs> ah, it's perfect. Hey, you yeah. drive them, that's what matters. Yeah. Yes, sir. Tell us about this little accessory right here. I know what it is, but I want you to tell yes, the sir. That is tell the uh, eye, and it's a dimmer switch. You, when you're driving at night with your high beams on, and there's a car coming toward you, or the opposite direction, of course, it dims the lights back down to, uh, I guess it would say the regular high yeah. lights, and then when the car passes you, it kicks it back to yeah. a high beam. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty rare accessory. Yes, sir, it is. Awesome car, sir. Thank you Thank for you telling us much. about it. Your time. Thank you. This is a 1954 Chevy. One thing I love about these three cars, all the vintage accessories on them. That's a swamp cooler. Check out this antenna right here. Isn't that cool? Of course, it's got the fender skirts and the curb fillers down there, too. Here on this side is one very unique accessory. Check out that fly fishing rod. Got a little food tray back there in the back. Check out that pop stand right there. Very cool. Back here in the back, 37 Chevy. And again, it is laden with period correct accessories like that. Flag holder right there on the top of the license plate and the fog lights. Got the corner marker lights right here. Visors on the headlights. Got visors on the mirrors right here. Wind deflector. This looks like it's got a Fulton sun shield up here. Again, got a swamp cooler back here in the back. Check out that gear shift knob made of an old door knob. It's even got the inside visors. Over there on each side, it's got the flower vases. Man, this is one ridiculously clean 55 Chevy. I love the way that they shaved off all the excess chrome on this car, leaving just the key elements of the 55 Chevy. Absolutely gorgeous car. This is one incredible Buick right here. Check out that power plant. Big block Chevy powered. Looks like maybe a 454. Beautiful wood grain on that dash.
This little 1950 Oldsmobile is one of my favorite cars on the place today. The craftsmanship throughout this car is just incredible. The colors are nice on it. It's kind of a gold champagne color. I'm not sure what you'd call that exactly, but it is remarkable. Hey y'all, thanks for coming along checking out some of the cool rides at the Chattanooga Cruise Inn. This event is held annually the first weekend in April at Camp Jordan Park and is sponsored by Coker Tire. Hope this video gave you some insight about what kind of show it is, what you can expect to see there, and I hope you plan on attending next year. This show is fast becoming one of my do not miss events of the year. Till next time. Y'all get out there and build something. That's right. Y'all get out there and build something.